Hey guys, this is Bryce and welcome to the YouTube channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, like always, and today we're going to be fixing the rocky seats in the BMW Z3. Chances are you know exactly what I'm talking about if you're watching this video, so let's just get right into it. You're going to need a couple things for this. You're going to need the bushings themselves that you're going to replace. You're going to need a socket wrench with a 13mm and a 16mm attachment, a torque set with a T25 and a T50 size. Optional is some grease. First thing to do is to remove the seat. There's going to be two 16mm bolts in the back. Oh my god! And then in the front there's going to be two 13mm bolts. You want to start with the back first because you want the seat to be moved all the way back when you remove it so you can expose the rails. A little tip that you can use is that you can use a socket themselves to twist out the bolts. Organize your bolts so you won't mix them up. So after you have all four of the bolts removed, you can tilt the seat back and remove the seat belt with a 16mm socket. Then before pulling out the seat, you want to disconnect the yellow connector on the bottom of the seat. My seat only had one connector, and mine is a 2001 BMW Z3 with sport seats. I know there are other seats that have more than one connection, so please check before you rip out the seat so you don't rip any wires. So now that the seat's removed, lay it on the side so you can begin work. There's going to be two T25 screws in the middle of the rail and a T50 screw in the end of the rail. Remove those three screws and the rail can slide freely. Now you can remove the rod from the rail. Once you pull the rod, it'll take the rail with it. Now you're halfway done. You can take a break, say hello to mom, and continue. Now this is an up-close picture of the carriage connected to the rod. One important thing to note is that this will have to be in the same exact place when you reinstall it. I suggest taking a picture of it so you know exactly what it looks like prior to reinstallation. So twist off the carriage from the rod and, and you can begin removing the bushings. You can see the old remnants of the BMW bushing in the carriage. To replace the bushings, I sanded mine down just a little bit and pressed it in with my foot. This is unconventional, but hey, it worked. This is what it looks like with the new bushings installed. Probably a good idea to take off all the dog hairs from the rod too. Remember that you want to install the carriage back into the position that it was before. Flashback. You can use the picture that you took for reference. Now that that is in position, you can go ahead and grease up the rods for lubrication. Go ahead. To install the rod back into the rail, note that the end of the rod is a square. The end of the rod connected to the motor is also a square. These will connect to each other. So now you can begin sliding in the rod into the power seating rails. Note that you want the three holes facing towards you. Those are the holes that will line up so you can screw in the two T25 screws. In order to fit correctly, push the flexible rod connected to the motor so it fits into the big rod. Once it is fit, you can shimmy the rod left and right so it can slide in. Once it's in position, the T50 bolt will line up. You can look through the inspection hatch to make sure that you connected it correctly. Once it's connected correctly, you can install the two T25 screws in the middle of the rail and the T50 screw in the back of the rail. Then proceed to do the other rail and you'll be finished with one seat. After that, reinstallation of the seat is pretty straightforward. Got your connector and your four bolts that are connected to the rails. And then you can give yourself a thumbs up that you didn't kill yourself with living so long with a nuisance before trying this project on your own. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys subscribe for more BMW Z3 videos.